All right, you're wanting calculator instructions on how to put this into your calculator is what I'm really hearing. I'm going to base everything off of the model I recommend you get for the class, which is the TI30X2S. Just to write this out as a number sentence, remember, these are multiplications and these are division symbols. Multiplication and division are commutative, so it doesn't really matter what we do first. Also, multiplying by 1 has no effect on the problem whatsoever. So if we were just to write this out by hand, what we'd really be wanting to say here is 6.24 times 10 to the negative 8 grams divided by 0 0.185 grams divided by 10 to the negative 6. The question then becomes how do we put this into your calculator? This is how I would do it. Alright, so we have our calculator here and our calculator is the TIX30X2S. Um, Notice the most important, wonderful button in the entire world here, and that's your EE -E button. Your EE -E button is right there above your X to the negative 1. You see your X to the negative 1, then you have your EE -E button. It's your shift function over that X negative 1. So to actually use that EE -E symbol there, you'd have to go second, and then hit that X to the negative 1 key to use that EE -E button. The reason that EE -E button is so wonderful and magical is when you put EE -E into your calculator, when you type that in your calculator, your calculator automatically puts 10 to the x caret in and drops parentheses. So to punch in this equation, all we'd have to do To write it out is we'd have to hit 6.24 then I'd hit that EE -E button on my calculator and we get that EE -E button going hitting the second button and then the X to the negative 1 button so I'd hit 6.24 EE -E, negative 8 I'd hit the negative button not the minus button, the negative button, the divide by button, 0 0.1785, divide by button. Now, because that EE -E button puts in a times 10 for you, in order to get that 10 to the negative 6 in, you don't want to hit 10. You put 10 in there, you'll get an extra 10. So instead, I just put in 1 and then I go EE -E to the negative 6 to get it into my calculator. If you punch that into your calculator, you'll get the right answer. Let me actually punch it in for you right now, and you can watch. Whoops, pointing that camera the wrong way. How do I flip it? Ah, that's more detail of me than you ever wanted here. Um, just a second here. All right. Very good now. I want to put that number sentence into my calculator. So I'm going to move things around just a little bit so that we can get a better view of that number sentence as I punch it into the calculator. Try to make my calculator as large as possible here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on clear out whatever I was working on to begin with. So see I've got nothing going on at the moment. So now I'm going to punch in my 6.24, 6.2 and 4. And you can see on my calculator screen all I have is 6.24. Alright, now I need to enter that EE. So to get my EE I'm going to hit my second key. So I hit second, 
and when you hit second, see that that second appears in that lower window right there letting you know that you've hit the second key. Then I come to my x to the negative one, I hit it once, and when I do that, an e, an e appears right there. See, I hit that E button after I hit second, x to the one, and that E appears. Now, I want to enter my negative eight. To do that, I'm gonna use the negative key. So I hit the negative key, and eight. Now it's just what I'd expect, divide by 0 0.1785 divide by, and I want to divide by 10 to the negative 6. To do that, I'm going to enter 1, because the EE key puts in a times 10 for you. Hit my second, second, hit my negative 1 key again there. and then negative 6. And I hit enter, and there's my answer. Ta-da!